Hey everybody, it's Katherine and this video marks the beginning of back to school season. I opened up YouTube today and saw a ton of back to school videos so I was like, gotta get on that. And I've actually been planning this video for quite a while. This past year I have just collected a ton and ton of websites and apps and just helpful features that seriously got me through the school semester and just saved my ass all the time. I want to talk about Cinch Polls. It's an app that you probably have heard a few other YouTubers talk about and it is another thing that really fits my needs. There are a couple people in my life that I really trust to choose stuff for me. So for example, I'll go shopping, I won't be with someone and I'll send them like four photos of the same thing in different colors or a couple different pieces and I'll ask them which one should I get. And it's kind of hard when you're in the texting app and like reviewing the photos and trying to compare and stuff. But Cinch basically collects all those photos together and they can pull right there on the app. So you can have multiple friends all polling for the same thing. Or the main reason I use it is for Instagram photos. I'll edit the same photo like four different ways and there's very, very subtle differences. But on the Cinch app, I can review everyone's opinions on it and reach the final consensus or ignore what everyone thinks and do my own thing. But either way, really good way to know what kind of other people are thinking about your photos or your questions. If you're an indecisive one, Cinch Polls is for you. Perhaps the most used app out of all of these I'm about to mention would be self-control. I have just touted this thing in every single one of my videos ever about school. And if you're not already aware, not already using an app like this, you basically install it on your computer for Mac and you can set all of the websites that you get distracted on. So for me, it would be Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, Facebook. So I type it in, type all the websites out, and I can set an amount of time, and self-control will block me out of those websites. So if I'm just trying to do a research project, just trying to type something out on Microsoft Word, I don't even have the option of going on the internet and accessing those things to distract myself. But I know there are some of you out there that don't think self-control is sufficient or want something a little more advanced. So I am going to link about four or five other apps in the down bar that have more specific features. So maybe they only uh, whitelist you or allow you to go on one site um, for 30 minutes and then you get a 10 minute break. Some of them are available for Mac and PC. But yeah, they all have additional features and I'll link them all down below as well as self-control. So check those out if you think that you will get distracted as you start the school year. This one's for really more like health conscious people or just progressive people in general, but the app is called F-Lux or Flux. There's a period between the F and the L. Obviously, it'll be down below. Basically, the idea behind it is that your brain really doesn't like the blue light your laptop gives off past the hour of like six or seven or sunset, basically. So it starts adjusting the color tone of your screen to be more conducive to help you not only look at the screen easier, but be able to fall asleep when you actually need to. So um, it's pretty much automatic. I use it all the time and it really doesn't impact you a lot, so I highly recommend you download it for free. This is like the sole reason I wanna make this video. It's a website called Big Words and it's basically like the Orbits or like Kayak for school books. So for those of you that have to buy your own school books, if you're in college, this is your end all be all. It is incredible. Um, a lot of people use Chegg or Amazon for renting books and this will just save you so much time. You type out all the books you need. I've never had trouble finding a certain book and it will cross reference all the different websites you can get on um, either a used book or a rental book and it will find you the cheapest way to ship it and I swear to god I saved like $400 on my books this semester and I didn't really have to save any books and sell them off because most of them were rentals or most of them were cheap used books I got for literally a dollar. Um, so if you are looking to get any books, even a single book, I highly recommend Big Words. It's completely free and completely awesome. This is a website called Buffer, and I've mainly been using it for my internship this summer, um, just because you can plug in like your LinkedIn account, your Twitter account, your Facebook account, and you can type up a post, put a picture in it, put a link in it, and basically you can set it for when you want it to post. So if you've ever thought about, oh wow, I really want to post this Facebook photo at like 8 p.m. but I'm not going to be home at that time, you can set it to do so and it'll do it for yourself. Or like for me, I'm in a different time zone than most people in the U.S. so I always tweet at like 8 a.m. because like 5 p.m. in the States. So you can just set it to do that for yourself if you're not going to wake up by 8 a.m. because it's summer or back to school, you know, you're busy in school. So. Buffer just saves that time and you can also load, front load a bunch of things to your Twitter if you don't want to be constantly on it and distracting yourself. 
this channel got me through finals week and I'm sure the first week of school when I don't want to do any work it'll also be motivating me it just has like a never-ending playlist I'll link it down below of just really really good rap hip-hop R&B pop songs but remixed and it's just perfect for really motivating you and keeping you going especially if you're working super late at like 3 a.m. in the library not saying I've done it but I've done it so check that out if you like the music I've been putting on my videos this is why I love being from the Silicon Valley. This is why I love technology. It is the other week I had an idea. My friend Sarah has the best fashion taste ever and she sent me this link to a really, really cute dress on Urban Outfitters. I'll put it down below if you want to check it out. Um, but it's like $79 or something crazy like that because it's Urban Outfitters. But we all go shopping. I post hauls. We all know that Urban Outfitters goes on sales and clearance all the time. And if you buy something for a full price, you know it's not going to be full price for that remainder of the time. So. I was like, there should be an app, kind of like Orbitz, that allows you to track the price of something. And guess what there is? I didn't even have to make it myself. I didn't have to hire a team of coders. It's out there. It's called Shop Tagger, um, and it's basically a plug-in to Google Chrome. So it's up there on your browser. No matter what clothing site you're on, it's been working for me nonstop. You basically hover over the item you want, and you click your size, and the quantity, and the color, and it'll put it in a queue for you and keep tracking it. So. I've been getting an email about this really cute maxi dress from PacSun. It used to be like $30, then it went on sale for like $19, now it's at $14 in the size and color I want it. Then not buying it because I'm way too tall for it, but um, I've still been waiting on that dress from Urban Outfitters to go down, and if you're super conscious about sales and clearance, you don't want to miss something, this is perfect for you. I cannot hype it up enough. And last but certainly not least, Venmo is the only reason I can trust my friends or maintain a good relationship with them. I started using this app back in junior or senior year of high school and for those of you that go to group dinners a lot, you go out to like Olive Garden or like Cheesecake Factory and they don't split the bill individually and everyone realizes they have to pitch in a bunch of cash and money but some people have debits and some people don't have the right amount of cash and it's just too hard to figure out. If one person takes the bill, you can all Venmo each other. Venmo is just like a digital banking app so you plug in your bank account and I promise you it's more secure than you think. If you spot your friend on like a donut they can just Venmo you three bucks or two bucks or however much it was right then and there so you don't have to keep reminding them because what happens with my best friend and I, um, Sarah and I will be like in this ongoing just list of how much we owe each other and we'll be subtracting from it, adding from it depending on who buys each other what but just in the moment it's so much easier if you can just Venmo and get it out of the way because reminding your friends about what you owe them is really really awkward and I do not recommend it. Similarly if you don't think Venmo has enough security for you which I've been fine with it and I don't care at all um, there's also an app called Square Cash. It's kind of up and coming right now a little more popular um, amongst the tech uh, tech geeks in Silicon Valley. Um, Square Cash is the same thing, but I think there are fewer people using it, so you might be better off just downloading Venmo and plugging in information there. Alright everyone, those are my eight or nine websites and apps that have completely saved my school life. If you think a single one of those would help you out, please give this video a huge thumbs up. I really want to try and do my first ever like school of a thousand likes. If you all can get this video to 1,000 likes, I will be posting more school videos because I know you guys really appreciate those from me. Comment down below with some back to school ideas you'd like me to film and I'll get to those if we can get this to a thousand likes. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next time and Cather out.